Hi folks, Dave, the Honest Audiophile. This is the Audizay LCD2 Closed, and these are my Honest Audiophile impressions. Audizay LCD2 Closed, 106 millimeter closed back planar headphone. They have an impedance of 70 ohms, 101 decibels of sensitivity, frequency response of 10 hertz to 50 kilohertz, and they weigh 612 grams. Inside the box, which is a pretty standard Audize box, nothing too special on it, you are going to get a certificate of authenticity and also a warranty manual type card. You're also going to get the standard Audize cable, and it's not a bad cable. A uh, little bit on the rubbery side. Terminates to a quarter inch. And of course, you have mini XLR inputs. Also, this is the Fog City cable. I really do enjoy this cable. Plus, I think purple looks spectacular with the LCD 2C. I also purchased a Corpse Audio cable with a mini XL, or I'm sorry, with the mini XLRs with a big <laughs> XLR termination. Gear that I used my LCD to closed with is the MyTech Liberty DAC amp and a head amp GSX mini, also a drop one linear, and also a my uh, a matrix. X Saber 3 and a IFI X DSD Griffin and a Sony WM1A DAP. And I found that the LCD2 Close played on all of them. Played a little bit better on the desktop stuff than it did on the portable, but it did play on all of them. So I do recommend that you have a uh, amplifier of some sort if you are planning on purchasing and using the LCD2 Closed. I find that the comfort of the LCD2 Closed is actually really good, even though it is quite heavy. Do keep in mind that I have quite a few heavy headphones already in-house, so I'm quite used to heavier headphones. Uh, being 612 grams, these are not the lightest things out there, but I find that they are quite comfortable, especially with these big, huge angled pads, and then also this headband uh, strap setup does a really good job of dispersing the weight and I, overall I just find that weight and comfort is not a problem for me but of course that is very subjective. I love the build of them. They have this like glossy, sorry about the light in the background, it has this glossy look to them like very marbly almost like a bowling ball type of effect and they are just absolutely beautiful in my opinion. I really really do enjoy that look of them. And I also like how the cables are angled to go down the front so that when you have them on they stay off of your shoulders and just flow down to the front. Overall one of the, the coolest looking headphones that Audize has made in my opinion. How do they sound? The Audize LCD2 Closed has a spectacular sound signature in my opinion. It's nice and well controlled, very well balanced, and very cohesive. The bass on it is powerful, but under control. There is excellent detail retrieval and resolution that is on the LCD2 Closed. I find that they have a high quality amount of details that are retrieved along with a good amount of details that are resolved. Everything is just well defined and very much refined. Uh, there's good base impact but yet not elevated. There's good texture of notes without being overly processed and too elevated and boosted. There, everything about the base says it's powerful and authoritative, but also controlled. It's a very well-mannered bass that does everything well and gives you all the information that you need and, and desire without being boosted and in your face. The mids are exceptionally smooth and cohesive 
very well balanced with a slight uptick in the upper mids for a little bit of presence and they do a very good job with having a natural warmth to them again the details and the resolution is just top notch and they are exceptionally sounding in the mids very natural sounding very cohesive have good separation of instruments and isolation of instruments and vocalists and everything just sounds natural and correct moving into the treble the treble is slightly elevated but it, it is very well extended and very well controlled. Just like the bass, it's present but controlled. And it has the proper amount of energy and sparkle without being too elevated, and without getting into hot mode. And there's no sibilance or sharpness in the lower end of the treble. And it's just a, a very pleasing treble and a very accurate sounding treble in my opinion. And it has very good amount of air and separation as well. Overall, I find that the tonality of the LCD 2 Closed is exceptional. Very well done for a planar, especially a closed back. And I find that it has very good natural and accurate tone and timbre. Very well pleasing and has exceptionally good note weight and density. Soundstage on the LCD 2 Closed is actually very good for a closed back. I find that it is nice and wide and very accurate to the venue. So if the venue is wide and, 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 and your imagination says that it's going to be massively huge, they sound that way on the LCD too. If it says that it is closed in and very intimate sounding, the LCD too closed does that. It makes it sound very small and compact and lush. Depth and layering is very good. Also, it does a very good job of portraying the distances of a stage. You can pinpoint and things and you can determine whether or not front row, second row, third row, fourth row, however it is. And it also does a very good job of placement and imaging is exceptional, very accurate and very precise. And I really do enjoy the sound stage of the LCD 2 Closed. It is very, very, very accurate and true. I really do recommend the LCD 2 Closed and they, I, I'm amazed at the quality of them. They are exceptional. How do they compare to my close back of choice that I use on a regular basis? And that being the Ether C from Mr. Speakers. Now this is the original Ether C. And I find that the Ether C is slightly better in detail retrieval and resolution. That is the best close back headphone that I've ever heard. And it still remains the king. It is slightly better than the LCD 2 C but it's not very much. There's very small amount of wiggle room there. The, the close comes very close to the Ether C. Tone and timbre also is an advantage of the Ether C. The Ether C is slightly better at being more natural with tone and timbre than the LCD 2 closed, but the LCD 2 closed has a little bit more note weight and a little bit more density. The Ether C is more aggressive and more forward in the mids. They are more present and more pushed forward in the mids area. And they are not as impactful and not as extended in the treble and in the bass. Overall, I find that they complement each other very well. The Ether C and the, close, the, the LCD 2 Closed complement each other very well. The Ether C is more of the analytical, critical listening and it's a little bit more on the a flat neutral side of things, whereas the LCD 2 Closed is a little bit more on the, has a more natural tone and a little bit more approachable listen, not quite as aggressive, and it's more balanced and cohesive. I find that both of them would do very well in a studio. The Ether C would be the one to pick apart your music and then the LCD 2 Closed would be the one to sit and make sure that everything sounds proper. I really enjoy the, the LCD 2 Closed. This is a easy recommendation from me if you are looking for a closed back headphone in the sub 1000 market uh, price point and uh, that has a big bass and lots of details and very good information overall and that's just overall pleasing to listen to and I really do enjoy the LCD 2 close and this thing is sticking on my head for a long time. 
It's been Dave, the Honest Audio File. Thank you for watching, and I will catch you on the next video. Speaking of next video, somewhere on the screen is a subscription link and notification bells. If you haven't already, check those off. Don't forget to give a thumbs up or a thumbs down to the video. And also check out the links down below for information where you can buy the Fog City Audio Cables, Corpse Audio Cables, and where you can purchase the Odyssey LCD 2 Closed. All kinds of other information down below, how you can support the channel, follow the channel, contact the channel, all kinds of good things down below. Check out the links. It's been Dave, the Honest Audio File. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to enjoy the music. And remember, honesty is the best policy.